Hey guys, this is Derek from Tech Connection, and uh, for this video, we're going to install memory or RAM in this Asus A53 series uh, XE3 laptop. So I got my work light ready, and I'm ready to start. So where I'm going to begin, I'm going to flip the little guy over. Most of these computers have a cover right about here. And before I uh, start removing any screws, it's always good practice to remove the battery. So I have a locking mechanism here and here that I'll need to release. Take the battery out. That way there's guaranteed that the unit is not on or in sleep mode or anything like that. And just to get into this cover right here, I'm going to use a little screwdriver. Now the one thing that I've uh, come across pretty often is that this cover feels like it's got another screw underneath of it. And a lot of people have tried to take the keyboard off and things like that. So you'll notice when you're trying to take this off, it gets stuck. But if you're careful with it, you can, and this is easier because I've done it a few times. There's some clips here, as you can see. They make it really challenging the first time you take the lid off. OK, so there's my. So here's my hmm, original memory sticks. Back up my little light a bit, not to blind everybody. So these models usually come with 3 gigs. We're going to go ahead and replace that with an 8 gig. And then what I'll do is I'll release these clips. So there's the first one. There's the second one. You'll see that your RAM chip kind of goes at a 30 degree angle after that. And if you just very carefully remove that, and we'll place it somewhere safe. And to get to the second one, same procedure. We're going to release a clip. We're going to release a clip. And this one, because it's lower down in there, it's a little harder to get out. But once the clip is released, it will also do the 30 degree angle thing. And you would very carefully remove that. And so far, so good. So now I'm going to get my replacement RAM, which I've got right here. This is going to be two sets of four, which will give us eight gigs total. Bottom one goes in first, of course. And in case this doesn't go in smoothly for you, 30 degrees is the right angle to have this at, not 45, which you would think. And ASUS is very nice in that uh, you just push down on that. A lot of other laptops, if you were to just push straight down, that would be all she wrote. And now I've got it a little bit crooked. So I'm going to secure my RAM stick nicely this time, and then push down. And now I've got a nice connection. A lot of other laptops, if you were to push straight down, you'd break the clips. So on some models, you have to hold the clips open, but not for, uh, not for ACES, thankfully. Let's see if I can do this while holding a camera. Okay, not bad. Okay, so same thing. It's in at 30 degrees. I'm going to push it down. It clips into place. I'm not seeing that it's at any funny angle, so I'm happy with that. Just a note for this model, if you're looking to take the uh, keyboard or something off, just to bring the light over, there's a keyboard uh, screw there, and just underneath the cover, there's another one here. Let me get my light in position. So right in this vicinity, there's a screw there holding the keyboard in. A lot of people miss that and accidentally destroy the bottom of their keyboard. Keep an eye out for that one if you're going to do your, uh, your installation. So I'm going to return the cover. The cover snaps down into position. Those clips are going to relock. And then we'll just screw it back in. Place our screw. Bring that back together. We're going to put the battery back in position and then we'll boot it up and then that'll be that. I'm going to want to lock my battery so not to let that fall out later. <coughs> okay. So push power. Turn off this crazy light we got. 
what, I don't think I've even charged this battery, so why don't we get the AC cord going. Nope, not charged. I'll get the machine to boot up. <coughs> and then I'll just put it in the BIOS after that. Just to confirm we did that right. So, enter setup. And there's our memory. We're confirming that we're good. Normally I'd want to boot in the windows and make sure windows can see it as well, but I'm satisfied here. I've already tested it once. And I'm sure the first thing you're going to want to do is boot in the windows and check that out and make sure you've got it all. And that's all there is to it. So from here she'll boot up. And that's all that's necessary to install memory in the uh, Asus A53U series. Thanks. Bye-bye.